Hello all, this video is on E32 LoRa which is based on SX1278 RF chip and has got longer transmission distance with the ultra low power conception. Uh, we will check fixed point and broadcast transmission. 433 MHz and 900 MHz versions are available and power 20 dBm and 30 dBm available. The pins M0 and M1 for mode configuration. RXTX pins which are at uh, 3.3 volt level and power we are using 5 volt 500 milliamps or 1 amps. It is best operated at 5 volt. And uh, a step band now like this will improve very much the distance in kilometers up to 1 to 2 kilometers you can easily achieve. And uh, versions uh, more for more power you can use 30 dBm version. It is slightly bigger version but uh, you can achieve maximum up to 1 watts from 100 milliwatts to 1 watts. Operating frequency 433 and 900 MHz versions are available. You have to use uh, whichever is allowed in your country. We will be using FTDA USB to TTL converter for testing and this is the testing setup. We are using 3 E32 modules uh, all connected to 5 volt supply. We are using 12 volt input adapter and using a bug converter to achieve 5 volt. And to aux pins, we have connected LED. This aux pin will serve as a flag for checking if data has been sent or received. And all three connectors, all three are connected to FTDA converters. Connection is simple TX to RX, RX to TX, and ground to ground. For FTDA, power we are not using as 5 volt we are making it common for all the uh, three modules the m0 and m1 pins are used for configuration four modes are possible the normal data transmission mode m0 and m1 both are ground and uh, sleep mode or configure mode where tx or x is disabled both are at one and uh, other modes are uh, wake up and power saving mode we will be connecting the ftd all ftds to pc pc and then note on the com ports and open the eByte RF setting software. Click on English and then uh, under the COM port, you can see uh, already it has detected all the three COM ports COM 20, 26, and 11 for me. And then click on Open Port and then the Get Parameter button. So we are not connected uh, M0 and M1 to ground, so it is in floating or pull up mode, that is configure mode. We will get the parameters. Baud rate is 9600, 8 and 1, error rate is 2.4 kilo, uh, kb kilobits per second, power is 20 dBm, that is maximum. Other settings are uh, a default, fixed mode disable, wake on, uh, radio disable, and then IO mode is push pull. And then to the right hand side, you can see the address and uh, channel. Address is 0, that is default, and channel is default 23. Address you can uh, feed from 0 to 65535, that is FFFF. And channel is uh, 23, default means 420 plus 23, that is 433 MHz operation. So the default uh, channel is 23 and the address is 0. So we are not going to change this parameter now. Now close this. And you can check the other ports also, other port, that is the second E32 module. You click on uh, get parameter. You can get the uh, default channel, that is uh, address is 0 and channel is 23. Same way for the third module also, check the parameters, get parameter. It is in under default mode. That is channel 23 and address is 0. Now let us uh, test the transmission mode. For this, this M0 and M1 to be uh, set to 0, 0. Both M0 and M1 to be connected to ground. Then it will go to normal data mode. For all the three modules, C32, all the three modules, let us connect M0 and M1 to ground. And we will be using this uh, software, serial software, Hercules and uh, Cooltem. Hercules is used for uh, first E32 and for second E32 and third we will be using cool term software. The first Hercules one, let us select the COM port, 
let us say the first uh, compote allotted 20 uh, border rate is 9600 810 1 and then click on connect the first uh, e32 module is connected to hercules uh, serial software and the second e32 module let us connect to the cool term first instance let us select the com port com 26 for me the second uh, e32 9600 8 and 1 connect and then the third one uh, we will be using the same cool term another instance com port is 11 and 9600 baud rate now click on connect and feed in uh, to hercules software some data and click on send you will get it to this for second and third uh, uh, module so it is fi fixed module but uh, all can communicate any to any that is any to any mode now let us uh, remove the m0 m1 of the first module and then leave it as uh, floating but as per data sheet you are not uh, allowed to leave it as in floating mode you better connect it pull use to 5 volt using pull up resistors now you can uh, uh, set the parameters go to the uh, settings section click on set parameter uh, as per data sheet f of f of means broadcast transmission so f of f of you cannot feed inside the uh, software f of f of is equivalent to decimal 65535 so in the address section you have to feed in 65535 for broadcast mode channel let us uh, make it as default only 23 that means 433 MHz and click on set parameter now the parameters are set remember m0 and m1 to be floating or pulled up so for the second and third we are not going to set anything we are going to leave it as normal remember to remove the m0 m1 pull up and then ground it for normal operation for normal operation transmit receive operation always m0 m1 must be connected to ground now click on connect in the hercules software and send some data for the second and third are connected to cool term from hercules software uh, feed in some data and then uh, feed in some characters and click on send now it is in broadcast mode so from first module to second and third it will be transmitted so this is uh, broadcast mode that is one to many mode now let us uh, check the uh, fixer transmission mode in this fixer transmission mode let us uh, test for one and three modules second module let us remove the m0 and m1 ground connections that is uh, if you remove it from the normal setting and go to the setting mode you can leave it floating uh, in floating mode also it is working for me for uh, setting parameter and then go to the e byte settings and uh, click on the com port of the second uh, module suppose you click the com port of the first module and click on get parameter you will get error because it is in normal mode so you select the correct com port of the second module and then click on get parameter and then get parameter and then click on set parameter now you are going to change the address Adre uh, simply we can change the channel also we can uh, change the channel to 50 and then click on set parameter now the second module channel has been changed to uh, 50 now let us uh, test it again uh, m0 and m1 to be grounded for the second uh, module to make it normal mode operation that is transmit and receive mode operation now connect the cool terms of serial software and then from hercules that is from first module uh, send some data or character click on send you can see it is going to the third module only and the second module is not receiving so this is fixed mode one to one so we are tested one to one and broadcast mode thank you for watching